I was terrified, absolutely terrified. It was very quick, so I knew that I might be pulled backwards, but to be absolutely thrown to the ground by two male police officers was, yeah, it was scary. It was very scary. Patsy Stevenson is her name, her image now more well known than she is, the symbol of what was supposed to be a peaceful vigil. Accusations of manhandling by Metropolitan Police officers which have hit a national nerve and appalled many. The physics student says police officers pushed her to the ground with force. The Met say they had no choice but to act as the vigil was, in their words, unlawful during Covid. I had several cameras sort of in my face and I thought to look up to them and just, you know, I, I was in a bit of a daze, I didn't know what was going on and then they, they helped me up to the, to the floor and um, a few of them were saying things, you know, um, one said that he had his hand on his baton, which I was a bit worried about. I didn't know whether that was directed towards me or to the crowd or, do you know I mean? I, I was a bit worried about people's safety and I didn't want people to be hurt just because I'd been arrested, you know. Um, I obviously appreciate the support, but, you know, I, you know, I chose to be there. New footage shows the moment the mood changed and police broke up the vigil. Scenes called disturbing and damaging for the Metropolitan Police, since Commissioner Dame Cressida Dick has repeatedly been asked to resign and publicly criticised by the Home Secretary. But Britain's most senior officer said the police were acting in line with the government's COVID laws. Police say they did what they had to do. They were acting within the law. What would you say to that? The organisers of the event wanted it to be a vigil and safe and we wanted the police involved. I say we are not involved with the organisers but they wanted it to be safe and um, with the police involved and controlled and spaced apart and I think they, they should have taken up that offer and just, and just like helped them. As the flowers keep coming for Sarah Everard today, this footage of Kate Middleton's unmasked and impromptu visit at the weekend has divided opinion. Now, of course, Kate Middleton came down to pay her respects as well. Some people asking if there should have been some action taken against her. What, what, what do you think about that? I mean, she, she just came to lay flowers. Um, you know, I'm not about woman bashing. She, she came to mourn as well, just like the rest of us. It just so happened that when I was there, that the police ended up coming down. For Patsy, like thousands who came out, it's personal. In 2017, a man indecently exposed himself to her as she walked home. This car pulled up and said, and gestured for me to come towards him. So I went towards him and he said, you know, oh, do you want some flowers? And I was like, oh, I'm expecting something. Have you got a delivery for me? And he just tell, told me to get in, into the car. Um, it was very scary because I didn't want to go back in, in my house because then he'd know where I lived. Um, so I did what, what I'd thought of doing was shouting and trying to record him. Um, people did just walk by though, which was a bit worrying and that's what needs to change. Sarah Everard's death has not only moved so many, but it's brought out an uncomfortable truth which Patsy and most women live with. They do not feel safe on the streets.